Hello, so this video is for Random Butler and I'm going to be teaching Wonderwall with the guitar. I don't have my stool with me, but... Uh, okay, so... I think we need to tune ourselves off a bit. So we're basically in tune. Now, the minor sevens occur in depressing songs, so Elliot Smith between the bars. This is A minor, and this is A minor seven with you pressing your fourth finger down on the third fret. So it sounds a bit angelic, honestly, but let's... It's kind of like a cry for help. I think, I don't know. Anyways, so... That same pinky finger, fourth finger, on the first one, two... Okay, so that pinky finger on the first string, third fret, might be what, I don't know. So the, the third fret, third finger also on the third fret. And then the regular, just normal E, me, e minor. This is E major. This is E minor. So, I was told Wonderwall deals with a lot of suspended chords, and it's post Nirvana, well, maybe a little bit past post Nirvana, depending how fast you want to go, but. It's kind of like a reason for living, and I think it shows up. In, it shows up in uh, Bob Marley's Redemption Song, and it E minor seven shows up in Bob Marley's Redemption Song, and it shows up in Joy Division Love Will, Will Tear Us Apart, which I'm not that interested in playing Joy Division Love Will Tear Us Apart. I mean, I think my relationship is good enough, good enough that it could withstand me learning and playing that. But it's kind of like a heartbreaking song. It's a heartbreak. Like, um, that's wonderful. So the first note is A minor. Uh, sorry, E minor seven. Then we're, this is our G, but we want to make... It's actually just your typical G. It's a little fancy because this is, this is your Everyman's G. So this is your ever, Everyman's G. It's just so you start with E, 
E minor 7. So you're, you're on the fifth uh, string, it's the second fret. On the fourth string, it's the second fret. Then you have an open string. Then on the second string is the third fret. On the sixth string, sorry, on the fifth, <laughs> not the best. And then you just go to your G, and your basic G sounds like this. But you could just, that's just pressing down on the third string with uh, the third, sorry, the third fret first string. It's very complicated. I have like dyslexia or something. No offense, I, I'm not, I, I'm just saying it's difficult for me to read it out. Now with the Star Spangled Banner, we get this D sus. This is your D major. This is your D sus. So it's the same as your D major, but you have your fourth finger, your pinky finger, on the third fret. And then for your A sus, A7 sus actually, you have on the fourth string it's the second fret, on the third string it's the second fret, and then just like the E, e, uh, e minor 7, you have your um, two strings. Two, two fingers down on the third fret, uh, first and second string. So those are the basic chords so far. I'm sorry if this is confusing or babbling, whatever. Just listen to it, and sometimes just listening to it, you can catch on if you're good enough. So you basically go two notes, two, two notes for each, until you mix it up. And I should mention, so this is your, this is your G. Here's your C9. You take this G and just move it towards the first fret. instructor was amazing and I don't want to be showing everyone the secret she passed to me. It should be a secret. What is this magic? Sometimes it's magic, I think. So, um, due respect, I'm just going to do this first part, the, the first page. I want to turn the page. <laughs> so, E minor twice. Sus twice. A seven sus twice. To you. So to
comes a variation. Seven, wait, yeah, E minor seven, G major, D, sus, A seven sus.